my very first treatment, I was pissed off. I was in the hospital. I didn't have all my luxuries that I thought I was going to be able to have. And I was trying to figure out a name for it. Um, illumination treatments, uh, whatever. It didn't really come to me until the second or third time when I started calling it chemo dreamo treatments. The very first treatment, my mom was with me. God love her. She stayed in the hospital the whole 10 days, 24 seven, the whole 10 days, would not leave my side. Oh, what a woman. And she was with me for the first chemo dreamo treatment. It was 10 o'clock at night. It was gonna take two hours and I really needed to be in a meditation, that much I knew. I didn't want to be in an easy chair with a bunch of other people. I never turned on the television any time I was in the hospital. I didn't want the extra babble. And while I was lying there helpless, I asked from within, what can I be doing in this state, in this helpless state? And I heard, be love. What does that look like? What does that feel like? So I started imagining what that might feel like. And I heard myself think out loud almost as a doctor would walk past to myself, I love you so much. If you knew how much I was loving you right now, you would just pop. And it felt good. I felt it in me. So I started practicing that. I learned a technique years ago about putting somebody in a bubble of pink light in my mind, symbolizing love. So I was playing with that idea. After a couple of hours, a tech would walk in and then a doctor followed and they would honest to God comment, God, this room feels different. What's going on in here? They could tell. It was physical. It was very interesting. So when I was going through that very first treatment, I knew how important it was for me to stay in that place but I wasn't quite sure how, so my music did it. I have so much of my music on my computer now, all alphabetically, of course. The first song started off with Angel Flying, which was a favorite of my mom's. And as I was in and out of that dreamlike state with that song playing, while the first drip was going in, I had a vision of waltzing with my healthy self, with myself as a much heavier weight, healthier, long hair, and she was waltzing this sickly, soon to be bald, 89 pound skinny thing with this bag. And as my old healthy self was dancing with my new sickly self. My old healthy self passed me off to someone else and it was another female, a friend of mine. And then she passed me off to someone else. And all these women that had been part of my life, I was waltzing with one at a time when I was listening to Angel Flying. It was tremendous. And the last two people I danced with, the only two men in the whole vision uh, was my dad and then my husband. And when I woke up, chemo was done. We had listened to all of those songs, but Angel Flying was the one that really took me somewhere else. And it wasn't that bad. I didn't get sick. I didn't feel any different afterwards. And I thought, maybe I can do this okay. And again, Sweet spirit, show me how. 